so the first one is you have to get an excel workbook so just try to keep the excel uh, um, excel spreadsheet uh, not more than 10 mb or 5 mb uh, so it will be good uh, if you can try, if you want to try with a very small excel of some kbs then also it will be good so uh, take uh, keep an excel uh, file there and then after keeping the excel file there i'll keep the sample excel file and uh, excel file there and i'll let you know the position of that sample file so what here you have to do is like use the poi jars and then uh, i show the sample code also you can just modify that code in order to uh, run your use case and then you have to just format uh, proper for uh, validate the content make sure that all fields are in proper format and then keep it uh, in this particular case if you send all the successful rows to hive table you do not need to send it to hive table rather than i will provide a my sql instance there you can put it to my sql so what i can do is like in your particular machine you can connect to whatever you want but in the sample if you if you just want to use the uh, server that that is being given so in there i i will put the jars i will put the excel file i will put i will also let you know the uh this thing my sql instance that i have created there i'll just let you know the username and password and sample table that is present there each of each of these things that that's required to work there you will be able to get it on the server which is hosted for your practice also if you want to do on your particular machine your particular servers that's more than i mean that's very good but even though you don't want to spend uh, any uh, thing on the server part or if you don't have a good enterprise machine or a good uh, 8 gb machine then also you can use this particular shared server to achieve this okay so the next use case uh, is also fairly simple which is we are using a pdf box uh, kind of utility to extract the pdf on any of the uh, any of the pdf files okay so what a very huge good use case that you guys can perform here is let's say you you have got a book into pdf let's say you downloaded a pdf book okay and then you want to extract all of the images in that pdf book and you want to place it somewhere so that's a good use case you can perform here uh, so the first first don't uh, go to the groovy code directly i mean don't uh, copy paste the groovy uh, Uh, code directly but just try to with the groovy code that you have written for the first implementation for this one that i just show you just try to make little changes and try to do that if not then you can refer to the document in the document groovy code will be there uh, so which e so for now what is there i have just listed the use cases i haven't given any doc uh, link to that any of the doc uh, any of the document or url okay after each use case i will just place the urls also which you can use as a ref, uh, reference but what i will suggest in first you can use as a reference uh, the groovy code but for the second case just try to manipulate that groovy code only and try to check what happens if you are not able to succeed for three four times then only refer to that yeah so this was the second use case third use case is capturing uh, change data capture using nifi so my sql uh, my sql server already i will give the uh, so uh, i'll give the credential for the my sql server that is installed there so uh, i'll uh, i'll place the uh, i'll share the credentials of my sql server and i will also share the jars required for first and second one so here you have to just uh, what you have to do you have to make a change data capture uh, thing with help of nifi so here you don't want to use it uh, hive cli but we also want to fetch the i mean we also want to put it back into my sql only you need not to put it back, uh, put it to hive instead you have to put it back to my sql only so table 1 is your source table table 2 is your destination table so uh, the actual result should be let's say there is one table which is source table it is having 10 records now so for first time extraction the destination table 2 will have 10 records only but another uh, it will keep on running and will just put some four five more records in table 1 so uh, 
so you shouldn't do anything and automatically in table 2 also those particular five things should be added is that clear i'm sure you enjoyed learning from this video please like the video and if you have any doubts regarding this video please comment us in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos do look out for other related videos in our playlist for more information visit our website now keep learning with intellipat